In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve black screen and blank screen issues with Elder Ring on your Windows computer. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you do enjoy this video, then click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how to resolve issues with games on Windows. So the first thing that we're going to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, and then select settings, and you now need to click on update and security and click on the check for updates button. If Windows did detect any new updates, allow it to install those updates and then restart your computer. And you then need to now ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. You now need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, which means I need to go to the NVIDIA website and I then need to download a driver for the GTX 1660 Super. I will pop all the links in the description below to NVIDIA's site, AMD's site and also Intel, where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. So once you have installed the latest driver for your graphics card, go ahead and launch Elden Ring and see if that resolved the issue you're facing. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just change the cable that you have plugged into your monitor if you do have a spare cable lying around. If you don't have a spare cable, but you do have another second port on the back of your monitor that you can swap the cable to, then do that. And also if you have a spare slot on your graphics card that you can switch your cable to, then try that as well as it could just be an issue with the port that you currently have the cable plugged into. And it will also ensure that you have got the cable plugged in correctly. I know you're probably thinking, wow, I'm watching this video right now, using that cable in the ports that it's plugged into and I've never had any issues before. It's still worth giving it a try as I have had this issue in the past. And when I changed the cable over into a different port, it did resolve the issue for the game. So the next thing that you need to do when you launch Elden Ring and you're getting the black screen or blank screen, keep pressing escape in case it's an issue with one of the intro videos that is stopping you from being able to see the game. And also while you're on the black screen, just ensure you are on the correct source on your monitor. And sometimes the monitor could flick over to a different source when the game launches on your computer. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing we want to do is run Elden Ring as an administrator. So you need to go to the location where you installed the game. If you're not sure where you installed the game to, then you can find out using Steam. So you need to open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you then need to go to your library and find Elden Ring, and you then need to right click on the game and go to manage and then browse local files. You then need to go into the game folder and you now need to right click on the Elden Ring.exe and go to properties. We then need to select compatibility and you then need to tick the option that says run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game. And if that didn't help, then the next thing you want to do is go back to this window and this time tick disable full screen optimizations and press apply and OK. Now launch the game again and see if that resolved the black screen issues you're facing. If that didn't help resolve the blank screen that you're receiving, you now need to close everything down and go to your desktop. Once you're on your desktop, you now need to right click and go to display settings. We then need to scroll down and you now need to lower your display resolution. So as you can see, I'm on 1920 by 1080. So I'd now go down to 1440 by 900. Once you have changed the resolution, go ahead again and launch the game and hopefully that would have helped. If it didn't and you're using a high refresh rate, then try changing this as well, which can also be done within here. So go back to this window and scroll down and then select advanced display settings. You then need to scroll down again and you will then see your refresh rate. Try lowering this down to 60 if you're able to, if you are using a higher refresh rate. If you're already using 60, then try choosing a lower setting that you have available. 
Once you've done that, go ahead again and launch the game. If it's still a blank screen when you're in the game, the next thing to do is keep the game open. But this time we're going to try restarting the graphics driver while you've got the game open. This can be done by holding down the Windows key, Control, Shift, and then pressing B. Your screen will then flicker, and this means that the driver has been restarted, and that will hopefully help resolve the issue. If it didn't, then you may need to reinstall the game, unfortunately. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video did help you out and get you back into Elden Ring. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more Computer Sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.